and y'all can see that okay it's like all right <clears throat> So let's find your seat any way that feels comfortable. I just want you to relax the arms, let the eyes close, and let yourself kind of mentally acknowledge that you are shifting from your busy work day into your breath, into your body, and some time for yourself. We're going to start out <clears throat> with a little box breathing. So for box breathing, you're going to breathe in to a count of four, like one, two, three, four. And then you're going to hold for a count of four. You'll exhale for a count of four and then hold the breath out of the body for a count of four. So it's in four, hold four, out four, hold four. And since everybody's moving at a different pace, I'm just going to let you come up with your own cadence, your own pace here. So close your eyes if they're not already. Maybe take a big sigh out through the mouth. Just clear the breath. And then begin with your inhale. Holding the breath in between. And slowly letting it out. And holding the breath in between. Try to keep the jaw soft as you breathe. Go ahead and complete your next round. And then just let the breath go and find your nice natural rhythm. We'll add a little bit of movement to this. <clears throat> so from your seated position, you're just gonna gently begin to sift through cat and cow. So just flexing the spine along with your breath.
Then we take one or two more. And then we meet back in that neutral spine. We're gonna sweep the arms all the way up overhead. And on the exhale, I want you to start to roll out the wrist as you take the arms down by your side. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhaling to lift and then exhaling. Maybe you roll the wrist in the opposite direction. Let's get one more. And then sweep the arms back overhead to hold. And we're gonna flow through a little twist. So you're gonna inhale here in the center. On the exhale, you twist to the right. Left hand comes to the right thigh, right hand behind the back. We take a breath in, inhale to center, and then exhale, twist to the left. So I want you to move nice and easy, linking your breath and body together here. Inhaling center, exhaling the twist. Whatever side you come to next, you're going to stay there and hold. Bring it all the way through center and then over to the other side and hold. Bring it back to center one more time and then exhale, take the hands down. Let's go ahead and come forward and start to make our way into down dog. So if you want to pause in tabletop and just stretch out the legs and the knees after them being compressed, you can do that. You can roll out the ankles here. Just find what feels good. And when you're ready, you're going to make your way into down dog. You start to pedal the feet and move around. Maybe you shake out the head and the neck. And then just baby step your feet all the way up to meet your hands. And we're going to meet here in a rag doll. So I want the feet parallel to one another. You can grab opposite elbows, bend the knees a little bit, and just hang here for rag doll. You might let yourself sway a little bit left and right. Good. Release the hands all the way down and just let yourself roll up the spine. Kind of take your time. And when you get to standing, take some big shoulder rolls. Maybe you get the knees involved and just start to loosen up. Move the shoulders in both directions. 
and then you might twist the torso out just a bit. Beautiful. And then settle yourself right at the top of the mat. Find that strong mountain pose, fully lifted through the crown of the head, anchored through the feet. Settle your focus on your breath. You can let your eyes open. Your feet can be together or hip width distance. We're gonna draw the belly in and I want you to sink the hips way, way, way back with the arms forward. So the pelvis tucks in just a little bit. Deep breath. Good. We're gonna take a big step back with the left foot. So you're gonna step all the way into your warrior two pose. So right leg forward, left leg back. Extend fully through the upper body, through the arms, the fingertips. Think about squeezing the thighs towards one another, almost like you're dragging your feet together. Perfect. And then we start to flow. Inhale, lift the right arm up and back. Exhale, right arm to right thigh. Left arm comes overhead. Good. Inhale, take it up and back. Exhale, right arm, right leg. Let's give it one more. Inhale, lift it up and back. Exhale, take it forward. And we come all the way back up to warrior two. Pause here. Shoulders down. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna pivot the left foot and come to face forward for a high lunge. So hips square towards the front of your mat. Reach up really long through the fingertips. Nice deep breath here. Good. Fingertips come all the way down to the mat. Straighten that right leg and let the whole upper body drape over. Now your hamstrings are not super warm yet, so be easy. Keep a little bend in the knee if you need to. Good. Bend back into that right knee. Step the left foot forward to meet the right. And we're gonna come all the way back into chair pose. Pause here. Feel your breath. Next breath in, step the right leg long. Find your warrior two. Extend arms all the way out. Energize the thighs. We start to flow. Inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, left arm, left thigh. Then bring it up and back. And take it down. One more time. We lift back up, meet here in warrior two. Stabilize everything, super strong. And then nice and easy, we're gonna pivot forward for a high lunge. So now you're on the ball of the right foot, arms sweep up. Both hands to the mat. Start to straighten that left leg as much as feels comfortable. Let the head fall. Good. 
A little bend back in that left knee. Step the right foot up to meet it. Coming directly back into chair pose. Sink the tailbone back, lift the arms. Good. When you're ready, big step back, warrior two. Right leg is forward, left leg is back. Extend fully. When you feel ready, start to flow. Inhaling up and back. Exhaling forward. As you flow, try to maintain steadiness in the legs. Notice if you kind of inch yourself out or you let that right knee cave in. We want it opening up towards the right pinky toe. Last one. And we bring it back, warrior two. Feel your breath. Let's come forward, high lunge. Both hands meet the mat. Straighten the right leg. Maybe you play with flexing the foot for a little bit more sensation here. Good, then back into the right knee. Step the left foot up. We meet in chair pose. Full breath. And then we step back, warrior two. Left leg is forward, right leg is back. Send the arms up and out. Activate the legs. Beautiful. Begin to flow, lifting up and back and coming forward. Maintain awareness of the legs as you move the upper body. Beautiful, guys. We meet back in warrior two. And let's shift the hips, come forward. High lunge. Belly is pulled in, tailbone's a little bit tucked. Hands meet the mat. Straighten that left leg. Maybe you play with flexing the foot. Then back into that left knee. Set the right foot forward. Let's come up into chair pose. Last round here. Maintain breath, maintain intention. As you move, step that left leg back. Don't be afraid to take up space here. Right knee opening towards the right pinky toe. Start to flow. After this three rounds, you meet back in warrior two, hold steady. And then start to pivot. Exhale, both hands come down. Straighten that right leg.
Good, let's sink into the right knee. Left foot steps through. Back into chair pose. Last side. Let yourself move with a breath. Take a big step back, warrior two. Anchor down with that right foot. Press the outside edge of the foot into the mat. And begin to flow with your breath. When you come back to that warrior two, soften the jaw. And then we pivot. Both hands meet the mat. Maybe you flex that foot. Sink back into that knee. Step the right foot forward. Chair pose, last round, lift up. Send your arms straight out in front of you. Belly pulls in, and we're gonna open up to the right. So send the right arm back, left arm stays forward. Inhale, bring it to center. Stay in that chair pose. Open up to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Bring the hands to the mat. Step yourself back into plank. Plank or low plank is fine. So you can be down on the knees or fully extended. Find your breath. Hold it steady. And then lower down. Good. Stack the hands, rest the head. So go ahead and bring your fingertips in line with your chest for baby cobra. I want you to press through the tops of the feet. And we're going to inhale, roll it up, lift. And you're going to exhale, lower it down. We've got several rounds just like that. Light on the fingertips, roll it up. On the exhale, you lower it down. Good. Move with your breath. And as you lift, I want you to think about reaching the crown of the head straight out in front of you and then up. Good. 
The next inhale, you're gonna lift and hold. I want you to take a breath and look over your right shoulder. Bring it back to center. Look over the left shoulder. All right, bring it back to center, lower all the way down. Relax the arms, maybe turn a cheek to the mat. Bring the chin back to the mat, and you're gonna either reach your arms back towards your heels, or you're gonna interlock the hands together and kind of press the knuckles. Either way, you activate the belly, and you're gonna start to lift your torso up. Press the fingertips or the knuckles towards the heels. And then we're gonna inhale, lift the legs up as well. From here, I want you just to take little pulses, squeezing your legs towards one another in kind of quick one, two, three, four motion. Squeeze the legs towards one another and let them release. Kind of activate the inner thighs, lift up through the torso. Squeeze the legs in and hold. And then let it go. Maybe turn the opposite cheek to the mat. And bend the knees in and just swish them left and right. And then relax them back to center. Bring the hands in line with the chest. I want you to press yourself all the way back for a child's pose. Knees can be together or separate. Find what feels good here. Let your breath settle into the back body. Feel that space. Reach the arms out in front of you as long as they're willing to go. And then you're gonna walk both arms all the way to the left. Let the head settle.
Bring the arms all the way back to center and let's go ahead and carry them over towards the right. Bring it all the way back through center. And we're gonna roll ourselves up to a kneeling position. So you're on your shins, on your knees. When you get here, I want you to make sure the belly's firm, you're fully supported in the low back. And we're gonna send the arms out in a big T shape. And then I want you to flex your wrist, just like you would flex your foot so that the fingertips point back towards one another. From there, I want you to imagine the fingertips could come behind your back and touch, so you're just pressing them back behind you. The wrists stay in line with the shoulders. Belly stays pulled in to protect the low back. Good. Now bring the hands right to the low back. Belly, pelvic floor, completely engaged. I want you to squeeze the elbows towards one another, look up, and just let yourself start to lean into a little baby back bend here. We're not going far. You might let your head drop back a bit as you press the hips forward. Belly stays firm. There should be no pain in your low back. See if you can take three full breath cycles. If your head is back, tuck the chin towards the chest. Start to lift yourself up. And we're going to come all the way forward into rabbit pose. So you're going to make your way back towards child, grab the heels and curl the forehead towards the knees as you lift up on the hips. Good, relax it down. And you're gonna come all the way into seated. Send the legs straight out in front of you. If you've got a blanket, you might tuck it underneath your hips to help you sit up nice and tall. When you get to seated, go ahead and flex the feet, bring the hands in line with the hips, and then just draw the chin back so the back of the neck is long. I want you to close your eyes and just find your breath here. Really nice posture, long spine. We'll let the eyes open. <clears throat> and you're gonna turn your fingertips to face behind you and kind of bring the hands a little bit behind the hips. I want you to keep the feet flexed and start to let your torso come forward. So this is gonna help us keep the shoulders open instead of rounding here. So fingertips point away from the body, torso coming towards the toes. Breathe here.
Inhale, lift yourself up a bit. Bring the hands in front of you now. And on your exhale, fold forward again. Try to keep the shoulders back. Inhale, lift up one more time. And this time, maybe relax the legs a little bit, and we're just going to fold into this in a really passive way. So let the whole body round, whether you're right here or you're down a little lower. It doesn't matter. You'll close your eyes and just settle into your breath. Roll yourself all the way up on an inhale. Good. We're going to hug the right knee in so the sole of the foot is down on the mat. And we're going to twist to the right. So go ahead and flex that left foot again. Wrap your left arm around the right leg. Bring the right hand behind the back. Pause here. Take a breath and lift fully through the spine. And then on the exhale, twist to the right. On your next inhale, unwind and just take a little baby twist to the left. And then we'll bring it back to center and switch sides. Left leg is going to draw in. Energize the right. Go ahead and wrap the right arm around the left leg, grow long. And then on the exhale, start to twist. Inhale through center. Take that little baby twist. And bring it all the way back. We're going to take both feet, bring them in towards that butterfly position. <clears throat> you might want to kind of roll that fleshy part away. <clears throat> and here, just to kind of loosen up the hips, I want you to inhale, lift the knees. Exhale, let them lower just a couple times. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling to lower. Good. The next time they're down, you're going to leave them there and let yourself fold forward. You can round through the spine or you can aim for a flat back, whatever is speaking to you today. You can hold the feet or reach the arms out.
Give yourself one more full breath. Start to lift yourself back up. We're gonna draw the knees together. Go ahead and energize the belly. Send the arms out and just much, much slower than you'd like to. You're gonna roll yourself down. Nice little healthy challenge as you go down. And when you get there, just let your whole body stretch out for a second. You might send the arms overhead. And then let's gather the knees in towards the chest. We'll bring the soles of the feet down to the mat. And we're gonna send the right leg up towards the ceiling. I want you just to clasp the hands behind the thigh. Flex that foot really strong so the knee can be bent. And I just want you to start to pull that right leg in to a comfortable place where you can still breathe. So we wanna feel sensation, but not so much it makes the breath choppy. Foot is flexed. Good. Let go of the grip on that right leg. You're going to cross the right knee over the left for that little, I'm sorry, the right ankle over the left knee for the little figure four. Try to let that right knee kind of fall away from the upper body. And then we're going to draw both legs in, clasp the hands behind the left thigh. And when you get here, you're welcome to sway a little bit and just kind of explore that sensation, or you can settle into stillness, whichever feels better. Gently start to release the grip on that foot. And we're gonna take the right foot to the right hand and just draw the knee down for a half happy baby pose. You can even let the left knee splay to the left to increase the sensation here. And then gather the knees back in towards the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. Let's take both feet back to the mat. And we're gonna send the left leg up, clasp the hands behind the thigh, and then flex that foot really strong. And just breathe into the sensation through the back of the left leg.
ahead, let that go and bring the left ankle to the right knee. Give the hip time to settle and then draw that right leg in. And again, take time if you want to sway and move, that's perfectly fine. Relax your grip. We'll take the left foot into the half happy baby and let the right knee open up if that feels right. Gather both the knees in towards the chest. And maybe you take a little twist here, maybe you circle the knees or take a full happy baby. Use the next couple breath cycles to take whatever suits you and your body. When you feel ready for Shavasana, there's no rush. You're welcome to grab whatever props might help you feel more comfortable. You can roll up a blanket or place a pillow under the knees, under the head. Allow yourself to get situated and become really comfortable in your own body. And as you find that relaxed position, <clears throat> give yourself permission to just let everything go. Let go of control over the breath, control over the body. Just settling into a feeling of ease and comfort with yourself, with the silence of the moment. You take those little wiggles and fidgets you need to help yourself feel really settled. Maybe even just scanning through the body from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet, observing and noticing anything, letting go where you can, Breathing in the space where you can. When you feel complete, just embracing that spacious, still feeling in the body.
Start to notice your breath. Feel the wiggle on your fingers and your toes. Roll the wrists and the ankles, maybe rock the head left or right. And then start to take those larger movements, maybe stretching the arms and the legs, preparing your body to move up to seated whenever you're ready. Give yourself a breath and seated. Scan through and just notice whatever shifts you might have observed or experienced. Thank you guys. Namaste.